out of the thousands of police departments all across the United States, how do you know which one is right for you? Hey guys, what's going on? I hope everybody is having a fantastic week so far. I'm going to try this out with a microphone today, but I was hoping to get a better sound quality for you guys and hopefully kind of drown out some of the background noise that's going on in my house. So about a month ago, I put out a video asking you guys for video topics and thank you, Matt Reese. He said qualities in a good police department. And that's actually a very good idea for a video topic, and I don't think I've ever covered it in a previous video before. Um, so there's several things that you should take into account whenever you are considering applying for a police department. Not every police department is the same, and just because you live near your local police department does not necessarily mean you should apply for your local police department. So what are some of the important traits of a good police department? The first thing to look at is what kind of reputation that department has. Are they in the news a lot for police brutality incidents or are they in the news a lot for doing good things for the community? The second thing you want to look at is how big the police department is that you're thinking about applying for. Some of the smaller police departments in very small towns are fine for some people. Uh, but a lot of times it's not uncommon for them to have issues with training, with overtime, and just with budget in general. The best thing you can do is talk to a police recruiter at that department. However, I don't know how every department works. I don't know if recruiters actually have numbers that they have to meet every month. But if it's anything like the military, they're going to tell you the truth, but not the whole truth. So in circumstances like that, I would recommend actually talking to the officers that work for that department. You're always going to get very honest opinions from the officers that work the street. The front Frontline people will never steer you wrong when it comes to applying for their department. Oh yeah, this place is awesome, man. We get all the overtime we want. You know, good people, good staff. You don't have micromanagement. Then there's the other side. I hate this place. Don't do it. Another thing to take into account is to ask them about overtime and comp time. The last department that I worked at actually went against federal law and at times refused to pay people overtime but instead force them to take comp time or compensation time. Of course, nobody wants to cause a big stink about it because nobody wants to lose their job. Find out if your local police department has a union. Most police departments in the South do not have a union, and a union will cover the officers. They'll stand up for the officers even when the department won't. They will make sure that officers are treated fairly. And just because a police department does not have a union does not mean that that's not a good police department. It's just kind of a an added benefit, if you will. And I think another thing to uh, that you want to talk to officers about and talk to the recruiter about is their training. Training is very important. Um, between training and equipment, those are probably the two top things other than the reputation that I would consider uh, important about a department. So if I had to put the top three things in order, I would say reputation, training, and I would say equipment and pay would probably be neck and neck for number three. And by pay, I mean overtime, benefits, things like that. If you go to a police department that is only going to give you the bare minimum amount of training every year, that's probably not a place that you want to work for. I'm not saying you need to look for a police department that has you off in training for half the year, but a substantial amount every year is, is definitely a good sign of a, of a good department that you would want to work for. And just because a department has one does not necessarily mean that they have to sacrifice another. There are departments that have amazing training, amazing equipment, amazing benefits. Unfortunately, it's not like that everywhere so you kind of have to find this happy medium on what you're satisfied with the biggest thing to keep in mind any department that you go to is going to have issues just remember that guys when you guys get on the road and you know two years down the road when you're getting frustrated and things that are sketchy and bullshit going on in the department it happens everywhere every department has their issues the difference is some departments have more bs than the others so it's very important to kind of find that uh, again by talking to the officers kind of figure out uh, some of the pros and cons for working for their department. And honestly, if you just meet with an officer in a lobby somewhere and you're trying to talk to them about this, they probably have other things on their mind. They're probably thinking about lunch. Why am I standing here talking? I've got other calls that are backing up. My biggest recommendation would be to do a ride along. Do a ride along and ask questions like that. A ride along is the perfect time to ask those kind of questions. Don't make it a two hour conversation because I'm sure most officers don't want somebody in the passenger seat chatting for two hours, but you know, 10, 15 minutes, ask the officer some questions, see if you can get some good information back. So guys, the very last thing, uh, I kind of wanted to save this part for the last, because to me, this is the most important, the most important thing that you can remember when you are applying for a police department. This is not something most applicants think about. I know I didn't think about it when I first started 
started, but I'm trying to get you guys to think in perhaps a way that you have not thought about already if you're considering going through the process. Recruiters won't tell you this part. You will be assuming the burden of that police department's reputation. Think about that. What's the first thing that you guys think of when you think of LAPD officers? I don't know about you guys, the first thing I think of is Rodney King. And I'm not saying all of LAPD is like that, but what I'm saying is if you apply for LAPD, you are assuming that burden. That reputation becomes part of you now, and it's up to you to break that reputation. After you get that gun and badge, you are then carrying that department's stereotypes. Oh, you work for LAPD? Beating up any minorities lately? So anyway, guys, it's just something to keep in mind. Again, the actions of a few reflect on the rest of us, especially in a job that has authority, that has power, that has the ability to take someone's freedom away. People judge you on a regular basis. Even if you are not the one directly involved in an incident, you are still going to be labeled because you wear that uniform. Think about the officers in Ferguson. Think about Darren Wilson. Now every officer that joins Ferguson PD from this point, they're going to have to prove something because of the actions of Darren Wilson. And I'm not saying what Darren Wilson did was right. I'm not saying what he did was wrong. But either way, the future officers of that department have to accept that burden and with any luck, hopefully change it around. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, one more thing I wanted to tell you guys, Blair and Bama have been ecstatic reading the comments from you guys uh, on their videos. They go through like every day. Keep it up. Show some support. I plan on having them both back on the show, uh, hopefully on a regular basis. I think they're both pretty good in front of a camera, and I think it would be fun to, uh, to play some games. Bama's actually talking about getting a third microphone, uh, so maybe we can do a show together. So stay tuned to the community page. I'm going to be putting some polls on there soon on like some ideas that uh, I had, uh, and I want to see kind of what you guys think about them. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. If you have any ideas, comments, questions, or otherwise, leave them in the comment section below, and I will try to answer them accordingly. Make sure to leave some video ideas down there, too, if you can. I'm kind of running dry right now. But either way, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys very, very soon.